April 29th and 30th, the sun is in Taurus and the moon is in Pisces. This is yummy. Why? Because we've got earth, settled Taurus, gentle Taurus, kind Taurus, with the softest moon you can possibly have. The moon's in Pisces and it's all about being able to feel. So this is a great musician and guess what? Willie Nelson's birthday is on April 29th. And when you think back to this guy, I love that southern accent and the quality of their energy. I happen to have a good friend who knew Willie Nelson and loves country western music because this is a perfect Taurus Pisces telling you stories, letting you feel your feelings, being so gentle. If there was a Taurus Pisces baby around, if a baby were born today, that would be the kindest, sweetest baby. Now, the downside, a little insecure, a little too sensitive, so slow that you could fall asleep in the middle of the... No, no, sorry, just kidding. So the point of the story is, don't worry because there's two planets in Aries, Mercury and Venus. So the sun is in Taurus, the moon is in Pisces, and we have two planets in Aries. So it's a kind of combination that lets there be gentleness. But when you have Mercury, this is what happens in astrology. If the sun is in Taurus, you would suggest this person's very calm and gentle. But Mercury only travels one sign in front of or behind the sun. They're always traveling together. So if someone was a wild, comfortable, gentle, sweet, kind little Taurus living in the woods with a Mercury and Venus in Aries and a moon in Pisces, you would actually feel their Aries energy, giving them permission to be creative. So this combination does facilitate creativity. It's a great time to bake, to eat, to have like delicious cookies. Oh, Taurus Pisces with some Aries. You're just going to get up and go. Okay, so Monday and Tuesday, when you wake up for work today on Monday, and you can feel that sweet little Mercury. Oh, that sweet little moon. See, Pisces makes you confused. Now, you got to know that about Pisces. It's two fish going in opposite directions. Taurus is stable, and Aries is just impulsive. So this combination is really good for being creative, cooking, cleaning, waking up to go to work on Monday with that lovely Taurus energy complimented by Pisces and saying, I love my job. What if everybody woke up in the morning and said, I'm going to love this week's worth of work. That's so Taurus. And I'm inviting you to reevaluate your job from the point of view of your moon in Pisces, who can tell itself any story it wants, and your gentle Taurus who loves to make money and create things, and your Aries who's all excited to watch these funny videos. Astrology Answers said, give them a little inspiration for Monday morning. And I did.